Hey John. Um, thank you for having this interview with me. I'd like to um, ask you just a couple of questions um, about maybe the role of um, IRC also in this uh, in this conference, but also um, in this kind of topic, how it would like to position itself. Um, could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Thanks, Alida. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, from what IRC is especially interested in uh, at this conference, we're one of the organisers, and we've been especially interested in trying to make it a, a learning event, so with lots of interaction between different kinds of stakeholders and interesting enough to engage people with a mix of different kinds of facilitation methods. Also to make sure that the conference and discussions are very well documented so that we can learn upon them and we can build upon those lessons mm -hmm. and that others can learn from what we've discussed here. And is that something that Switch could then take on uh, maybe also for future um, activities and future planning as well? Because in this conference there was a lot of Switch um, being uh, used in case studies and also to talk about the learning alliances and the city examples? Yeah, well, Switch has been the source this week of many, many really good examples mm -hmm. and some of, several of the cities involved in Switch have come here with um, mixed delegations including facilitators, researchers, people from the media, politicians. Um, and and then what that illustrates is that within the Switch cities we had processes that were engaging uh, multiple stakeholders and that's particularly been the part of the work that I've been supporting. But SWITCH was a research project and even though it was very big by research project standards, um, it was working in many cities and we were only working for uh, five years in those cities. And, and we have to be honest and humble, I think, about what we were able to achieve. I think SWITCH was able to achieve uh, many things it's different in each of these cities because the context is very, very different. But what is most interesting about Switch is what will happen in the next two or three years. Will most of that knowledge remain with the people who generated it? Um, or will many of those tools and methods uh, be taken up by other kinds of organizations so that Switch becomes something which cities and other organizations do? not necessarily the people who started it. I think that's what I'd like to see and that would be really exciting. Alright, okay. Well, we'll look forward to uh, seeing how that develops in the coming years then. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.